everybody, this is Keith here of Euphoria Pictures. Welcome back to my channel. Right, folks, so I've been looking forward to this day for a long time. I've got my three James Cameron movies in my hand on 4K, Aliens, The Abyss, and True Lies. Uh, I can't stress to you how excited I was to see all three of these on 4K. And it goes without saying, folks, but I'm going to be individually reviewing all three. It's going to be the three videos for the week, but I'm going to try my best. And uh, looking forward to uh, sharing my thoughts on the 4K transfers. But I actually watched all three all in one night. I came in here, sat down, cracked open numerous beers, and I simply marveled what was on the screen, which we sh that's what we should be doing when it comes to physical releases like this. Now, before I do anything, I want to just do a big shout out to the lads over at HD Movie Source, Carl and Mark. Thank you so much for sending these my way. These have really saved my ass because as you know, uh, the Abyss is not getting a physical release over here. So it would have been a shame to kind of miss out on it. So thank you once again, lads. Uh, absolutely incredible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a link in the description below to their website. And if you're looking for an outlet to get these American releases, go on over. And I've said this numerous times in my videos, nothing is set in stone with these, la with these lads when it comes to prices. So reach out to them, reach out to them and let them know that I sent you over there. And I promise you they will look after you just like the, they have looked after me. So uh, once again, Carla Mark, thank you so much. The packaging was perfect. As you know, nothing was ever going to happen to it. I think if, if even if someone sat in the box, uh, I don't think anyone, anything was going to happen with it. It was just so well insulated. So uh, thank you once again. And again, the link is in the description below. So naturally, I'm going to start with the big one, the one that I was genuinely excited to see on 4K. Of course, it is Aliens. And why? It's because it's probably my favorite movie of all time. It's definitely in my top three. And I was genuinely excited to see this on 4K. Now, I don't think really Scott realized how easy he made this for James Cameron. I don't think he was intending to set Alien up for a sequel. But of course, someone was always going to back, go back to the planet of LV-426, go to that derelict spacecraft and show us what was laying all those eggs that we've seen in the first Alien movie. But not only that, but James Cameron came up with the great idea of colonizing the planet so we wouldn't have to deal with one alien, but hundreds of them. And the way that James Cameron has directed the sequel, the way he's handled it all, is absolute perfection. As far as I'm aware of, I think he only had three alien suits. And to make it seem like there was hundreds uh, was incredible. It's just a testament to how good of a director he is. Now, a lot of people regard this as a great action movie, and I do and I don't. I still think it's a horror movie with action elements, and it's the horror elements that really kind of grabs me. But not only that, but it's a character-driven movie as well. There are so many memorable performances in this movie, and I feel the exact same way I feel every time I knock this movie on. I, I feel for the characters. You know, I, I, nothing changes with me. Every time I watch it, I'm like, oh, I hope he doesn't die. I hope she doesn't die. It's, it's a strange kind of power this movie has over me. And um, I can't stress to you how much I love it. And I have to do a big shout out to James Horner as well. The score for this movie. Oh my God, it is so grandiose at times. Uh, made even more so now with this amazing Dolby Atmos soundtrack that we get. But look, I'll get more into that now very, very soon. Now, another thing as well, I don't know if it's just me. But I think there's the potential to do a kind of prequel slash sequel there. Uh, something that's similar to what they've done with Saw X. You know, because Saw X was held between the events of part one and two. But I don't know about you, but I would love to see uh, a story, a movie based on the Hadley Hope. That first initial attack from the alien. I think that would be very, very intriguing, tr intriguing to check out. Trying to not, not necessarily see the newt side of the story because we kind of got an idea of it. Uh, with the uh, the special edition, but I just would love to see and just an entire movie dedicated to that And I'm hoping someday someone will actually try it. Uh, I think it's the, it has the makings to be a great movie I really really do now in terms of special features. There is a dedicated bonus disc I haven't checked it out as of yet, but something's telling me it's going to be the same special features that we got on the blu-ray So many incredible featurettes to check out you will not believe the hardship that James Cameron had to go through to get this movie made because the set design team were British. They were big Ridley Scott fans, so they instantly resented James Cameron. But look, he didn't make it easy either. He's very difficult to work with, apparently. But And it took Gail Ann Hurd to come in and kind of resolve the issues that the British crew had with James Cameron. And thankfully so, because if he didn't, chances are we wouldn't have got this movie. So uh, yes, really looking forward to actually going back over them special features. And I'm hoping that we might get something a little bit different inside this one. 
Right folks, so I'm going to actually take us around this release before I do anything and then come back and share my thoughts on the 4K transfer. So uh, yeah, let's get to it. Right, so here we go, aliens. So uh, the first thing I'm going to quickly say is that the sticker down here, don't try and remove it uh, because you're just going to pull the slip cover apart, uh, which is quite frustrating. But as you can see, the slip cover does have a nice high gloss finish to it. The aliens title has a little bit of embossing to it as well. And uh, of course, you got uh, Ripley and Newt on the cover. You got a couple of alien eggs down the bottom left. And of course, right at the back there, you've got the queen alien. It's not the best bit of artwork I've ever seen for aliens, but look, it gets the job done, I suppose. So that is the main artwork. I will take us then onto the spine of this one. And then right around to the back, and naturally you do have a right above the movie on the top. Uh, you've got your special features in the middle there as well. I'll actually take these in close. And uh, you've also got your technical aspects as well. So that is the back of your box. Uh, I'm going to open it up. And as you can see, it is much the same. So I'm not going to spend uh, too much time with it. Uh, it's the exact same artwork, uh, even the spine is the exact same, and of course, the back as well. But when I open it up, you are instantly in uh, introduced to your uh, to your Blu-ray disc, and as you can see, you get both versions on the Blu-ray disc. You also get both versions on the 4K disc, and when you remove the 4K disc, uh, you got your bonus disc as well. And uh, you will notice as well that all the disc artwork uh, is very, very different as well. So there you have it folks, that is just a close look uh, at this release of Aliens. Right, so on to the 4K transfer. So I just wanted to say quickly right at the start here folks, anyone that's aware of my channel or anyone that's coming over for the first time, look, I'm not an expert when it comes to 4K transfers, I'm really not. But the thing is, I know what looks good and I know what looks bad. Now, I'm not one of these people that knocks these movies on and overanalyzes everything that's on screen. Uh, screw that. I am here to enjoy these movies. I'm not going to overanalyze things. I'm, everything that I'm talking about in this video is what I just saw on my first viewing experience. I was not thinking about this video. I was just marveling what was on the screen. But not only that, folks, but I've been hearing horror stories. Horror stories when it comes to people reviewing these movies. With certain YouTubers actually getting death threats. Death threats for fucking 4K transfers. Jesus Christ, what world are we living in that someone just can't, you know, share their thoughts on a 4K transfer? It's clear to see what was happening. There's, there's people out there that instantly resented these movies on 4K, but they're going to resent anything that James Cameron does. They simply do not like him. And when they went on to reviews where people were praising the 4K picture, they were getting the height of abuse. It is absolutely ridiculous. And I promise you, if any of that shit starts on my channel, you'll be deleted, your comment will be deleted instantly. And I mean it instantly. No one will get a chance to read it. And you'll be blocked from my channel, and rightfully so, because I don't need any of your crap when it comes to my channel. And I don't think any YouTuber needs any of that. So again, folks, apologies. I just needed to get that out there. My God, I, in a weird kind of way, I'm kind of just looking forward to the, the, these uh, reviews to be over with so I can just get on with things. I don't know what it is, but these three movies have rattled so many people's cages for some strange reason, and I do not understand why. This is not what 4K is all about. We are meant to be celebrating releases like this on 4K. And there, there is no right or wrong. There's not, if you don't like it, that's fair enough. That's grand, but like, my God, don't attack people for enjoying them and vice versa. You know, don't, people that enjoyed them, don't be attacking the people that hated them. It just, it makes no sense. This is our opinions. We're just putting them across there and you don't have to listen to it. The only thing I will say is you don't have to listen to the negative. You don't have to listen to the positive. What I will say is take a gamble, take a gamble and see for yourself. With that said, onto the 4K transfer and yeah, I thought it was astonishing. I thought it looked incredible. I really, really did. It gave me everything and more. Uh, the, the, the ultimate gift that it gave me was it, it felt like I was watching Aliens for the first time. And what a gift that is when you consider that it is one of my favorite movies of all time. To actually have that, uh, to actually be able to see it in a new light, it was just, it was special. As a matter of fact, folks, I'm not kidding you. When I finished watching this movie on 4K, I actually contemplated starting it again. That's how good I thought this looked.
Now, I just want to address a few things that I heard when it comes to this 4K transfer. A lot of people are talking about the DNR that was implied, uh, or applied to this picture. And they were saying that everything was waxy and mannequin-like. And now, I'm going to say right now, bullshit. Absolute bullshit. None of that is going on. There might be maybe one scene close to the start of it where uh, Ripley is finding out what happened to our daughter. There's just one scene there where her face just looked a little bit unnatural. But other than that, uh, there is so much incredibly fine detail to be seen across the board, on, particularly on their faces. Uh, you will not believe it. There's just so much depth to the picture. It is absolutely incredible. It is incredibly sharp this there's no question about it it does have a modern look to it people seem to be resenting the fact that it does have a modern look which is absolutely baffling to me i can never wrap my head around that because does that mean that he's going to modern movies and going into their 4k transfers instantly resenting them because they look modern no it's 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 it looks fantastic it really really does now another thing as well i heard was that the movie has this kind of over processed look no i don't see that either just check out scream on blu-ray and you'll see exactly what over processing looks like and you definitely do not get it with this release um i can't i can't recommend it enough i really really can't i was so so impressed by it now the dolby vision doesn't it doesn't drastically change things uh, from what I've seen, it does. It just adds this refinement to the colours. It just has adds this stability. Uh, there's one scene that I have to single out. I really, really do when it comes to Dolby Vision. It is the scene where they cut the power, and the the intensity to those reds when you see them, and then when you get them the deep blacks that I absolutely love. That entire segment is an absolute sight to behold. Now, uh, back to this whole DNR thing as well. Uh, people are saying that the grain structure has been scrubbed away. Well, that's not true either. The grain is there. It is sensationally fine. But I promise you, it is there. If you go up close enough to the screen, you are going to see it. I, I, I don't get it. I really don't. I'm, I'm baffled by this one. I really, really am. Um, I just don't get why it's getting as much hatred as it is getting... Um, it get, like I said, it gave me everything and more uh, when it comes to its picture quality. I thought it was stunning. And to top it all off, it comes with a Dolby Atmos soundtrack. And this one is a game changer, particularly for Aliens. It sounds sensational. Now, there's one scene to check out. Just the scene where Newt and Ripley encounter the Queen for the first time. That scene, right up to the bit where she does the, you know, the whole punch it, Bishop. That entire segment will tell you everything that you need to know when it comes to its Dolby Atmos soundtrack. You get everything in that segment. So much low end bass and it sounds absolutely incredible. It will rattle your room. Your overhead channels, just listen to the security system. You know that you've got 14 minutes to reach minimum safe distance. That is all coming out of your uh, higher channels and your rear channels are just constantly going. It never stops. It is so immersive, so atmospheric. And the Dolby Atmos captures it all so beautifully well. Not only that, but no matter how chaotic things get, uh, the dialogue never gets drowned out. You can clearly hear everything that's been, uh, been said. And then to top that all off, you got the James Horner score playing through the whole thing as well. And like I said at the start of this video, it just feels so grandiose. I have never heard it sound as powerful as it does uh, on this Dolby Atmos soundtrack. Um, yeah, it's incredible. It really, really is. So there you have it, folks. That is my review of Aliens. And as you can see by the video, I am so happy with the results here. I know I seem like I'm a bit overexcited when it comes to this. It's only because I love the movie so much. And to see it get this kind of treatment is very, very special. And look, you don't have to listen to me. You really, really don't. You don't have to listen to the negative side at all uh, either. All I will say is just give it a shot. Give it a shot and see what you think yourself. And hopefully, fingers crossed, you will get as much out of it as I did. Um, I was, I had such a great time. I really, really did. And I really hope you do as well. So there you have it, folks. So as per usual, if you did like what you see here, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you could do, leave a comment down below. And please do share your thoughts on this movie. And what did you think of its transfer? And yeah, I hope to see you all again real soon with my next video. Until then, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.